Hey everybody, it's Jay Kitchen from jaysbeard.com. I hope you're doing really well today. We're going to be doing a review of something from the House of Maison Francis Kirkjong. This is their Aqua Universalis. Check out the bottle it comes in. It's quite cool. I mean, it's in the style of the other Kirkjong bottles, but nonetheless, check it out. Before we get too far into the review, if you would be so kind as to subscribe, smash that thumbs up button and the notifications bell, we would really appreciate it. It really helps us move the ball forward on this platform. Thank you so much. A couple of weeks ago, I got the men's wardrobe discovery set from Kirk John. And this Aqua Universalis was in the package, along with a lot of other scents as well. I kind of stayed away from it just because I really didn't know what it was all about. I did a little research. It's a springy, kind of freshy, citrus scent. The website says it was created in 2009. The nose behind it is Francis Kirkjohn himself. This was inspired by cleanliness, a scent composed of bergamot, Sicilian lemon, lily of the valley, sweet orange, and blonde musky wood. They also sell this scent in a laundry detergent. <laughs> so it's kind of funny because some of the comments about this scent refer to it as a laundry detergent smell or, you know, a dryer sheet smell, something like that. So I found it really ironic that the brand actually makes a laundry detergent in this scent. Now, I sprayed it on about... Oh boy, four or five hours ago. And it was really nice at the beginning. And it then it just sort of faded off into nothingness. Now, I resprayed myself a little bit ago. And it's got a real clean, oceanic kind of fragrance. I'm going to do it again. And, you know, why am I super spraying here? Because it's so light for me and on my skin that I really need a lot. And you know, I'm almost done with this whole 2 ml container, which is kind of amazing for me. Now what Lucky Scent says about this scent is the name is Latin for universal water and the scent does what it says on the bottle. Francis Kirkjohn calls it the missing link between skin, clothes, bed linen, and the air, and he's spot on. This light, sparkling eau de toilette could be spritzed by anyone, anywhere, anytime, but you'll probably want to save it for your skin. Since you can scent your house with the Aqua Universalis candle, or incense paper and launder your clothes with the matching detergent. With its sweet as a kiss orange blossom and lily of the valley bouquet, brightened with citrus notes and a burst of aldehydes on a cottony cloud of white musks, Aqua Universalis is possibly the most refined interpretation ever of the fresh out of the shower, fresh out of the dryer smell. In a word, the ultimate stealth scent. I mean, it's so stealthy, I hardly even smell it. <laughs> On Sensplit, our Diggity said in December of 2023 that this has great longevity for a citrus musk, rough laundry detergent opening, but the dry down is fresh with good longevity. A higher end St. Bart's layered with a CKB, not worth the price tag. Another person referred to the sort of dishwashing liquid and all purpose cleaner laundry scent. It's really, I mean, it's very clean, very fresh but I'm not really getting a lot. The accords as listed on Fragrantica of this are citrus, white floral, fresh, musky, aromatic, and green. The notes are, there's no top, middle, or base. It's just straight up scent notes. Lily of the Valley, Amalfi Lemon, Bergamot Musk, Orange Blossom, Orange, and Woodsy. Now the price tag, the price tag on this, it's not particularly cheap. For 70 mLs, it's $230. For 200 mLs, it's $445. Clearly it's cheaper to buy 200 mLs than 70 mLs in the sense of, you know, dollar per mL, I guess. And I could see why you would need to buy the large container because you had to spray the hell out of yourself 
I mean, it faded. Now it's coming back. I'm getting the lemon smell. It is very nice, very clean. And I actually sprayed some Molecule 01 on this as a layer earlier to sort of bring it out even more. And it didn't really do much at all, to my nose at least. Like I say, it's got a real clean, nice lemon scent, but I don't know if it's a concentration because it's an eau de toilette or what the deal is, but it, on my skin, it does not stick around. It's got like zero longevity and zero projection. I do get the lemon. It's a nice, very faint, very faint skin scent after you spray it. Now again, this is my experience and my body chemistry is different than yours. So you may have a totally different experience. And a lot of people who try this really, really love it. I'm not getting it. It doesn't work for me. It's for the price point. I wouldn't spend my money on it. If you are interested in these type of fresh linen-y sort of scents, get a sampler, get a decant somewhere and check it out. You may really love it. You may fall in love with it. It may wear really well on your flesh. It does not do that on mine. I would just say, well, I'm glad I tried it, but I know I don't want to spend any money on it. So it's not a bad smell. It's just not much going on for me. I mean, like right now, I get a vague, faint lemon scent. It's nice lemon, nice citrus, but not much going on. I hope you enjoyed the review. If it brought you some value, please smash the thumbs up. Subscribe, hit the notifications bell. We really appreciate that. Leave comments down below if you've tried this, if you like it, if you hate it, if you know some other good citrus or fresh laundry smelling type scents, please let us know in the comments. In the meantime, please be kind to fellow human beings and their pets. It doesn't cost us anything. Stay lifted, stay well-groomed, stay smelling awesome, and we will catch you on the next one. Cheers, everybody. We love you.